How many times have you set a goal or your New Year's resolution and then completely forgotten about the New Year's resolution or the goal? Today, we're gonna to talk about how to improve your goal hitting by using this one simple goal setting technique. And so uh, there's a thing called Pearson's Law, and that's what we're gonna dive into today. Pearson's Law says this, when performance is measured, performance improves. When performance is measured and reported back, the rate of improvement accelerates. So what exactly does that mean? Well, if you want to track something that you're trying to get better at, you will improve. If you track something and report it back to somebody else, the rate that you're going to improve gets way better. And so let me give you an example of how I could use, how you could use it and how I've used it before, even with some of my clients in the past. About four years ago, I had a client that started working with me and the first thing that he wanted to work on was he wanted to lose some weight. And now in no form of anything, am I a weight loss coach? I'm not a fitness coach, any of those things, but I knew Pearson's law and so we used it to our advantage. So if he were to go and just jump on the scale every single morning and look at what he weighed, if he was trying to lose weight, he would lose weight just because of the fact that he would be measuring it. But if he has to report back to me every single week with his exact weight, he's going to improve exponentially. So this is what we did. I had him buy a scale that was connected to his phone through Bluetooth. And every single morning, he was required to get onto that scale have his phone read it through Bluetooth, which automatically logs his body weight, his body fat percentage, uh, his muscle mass, his water weight, all of those things. And it just, you step on it, within two seconds, it's automatically logged inside your phone. And then every week when we had our calls, he would have to send me the screenshot of every single weigh-in from the week before, which kept him on track, but also gave him somebody to hold him accountable to what he knew he was supposed to do. And just this simple strategy improved his weight loss exponentially. So he weighed about 230 when we first started working together, and he lost about 35 pounds within the first four months of us working together simply because he was tracking every single day so he could see if he was improving or he could see if he was getting worse. And on the days that he got worse, it then made him go to the gym and work out harder because he knew that we were gonna be talking every single week to improve this. And so once again, at its simplest form, if you track it, it will improve. If you track it and have to tell somebody your results weekly, you'll improve exponentially because now you have an accountability partner. And think about this. It's super important. Quantification in your life and in your business are critical to your success. If you think about it, no company just goes, you know what, we're going to just wing it this month. We're going to wing it this year and just hopefully we do well. No, they come down, they sit down and say, okay, we're going to sit down with our sales team. We're going to figure out exactly what it is that we need to do, how much we need to have them sell this month. Then they go and they sit down with their finance department and they have to make a budget. They have to track all of these things and they have to figure out their P&Ls. And that's exactly how your life should be. The same way that you go into planning a business and making a business plan, you should go into planning your life and acting and being as serious as you would with a business on your own personal life. And so when we're working towards a goal, we have to track everything that we have going on and we have to make sure that we have someone to hold us accountable to it. This could be how much money you wanna make, this could be how much you wanna save, this could be you know, how much weight you wanna lose, how much weight you wanna gain, how often you wanna to go uh, to the gym, what you're gonna be eating, how often you go on date nights with your spouse, how many times you show up to, to your house after work before six o'clock instead of staying home late every single night and working. These are all things that can be tracked, measured, and then recorded and brought back to somebody else to hold you accountable. Because how often, think about this, just really honestly think about this for a second. How many times have you set a goal or your New Year's resolution and then completely forgotten about the New Year's resolution or the goal? Think about that. You set a goal, you're all excited, it's January 1st, you're gonna go in, you wanna hit this goal. Two months later, you're like, what the hell are my New Year's resolutions? I don't even remember what they were. Think about how often you've set goals for yourself or set New Year's resolutions and that, let's just take New Year's resolutions out of it. Let's take that completely out of it because that happens once a year. How many times have you set goals for yourself? A daily goal, a weekly goal, a monthly goal, a quarterly goal, and then nothing happens. You look back 
after your quarterly goal three months down the road and you're in the exact same position that you were before financially mentally physically all of those things are exactly the same so you have to take this pearson's law and say okay I need to get really good at quantifying my entire life. I need to get really good at quantifying my entire business. Why? Because numbers can be tracked. And if you can track them, you can record them. And if you can record them, you can give them to somebody else to hold you accountable to them. I bet 95% of the reason why people don't hit their goals, myself included in the past with this as well, is simply because they don't track them. They don't put them down and then they don't develop a system to hold themselves accountable throughout the entire year to hit this goal. You know, businesses that are successful, sit down and plan out how to be successful and run a successful business. People who have successful lives, as weird as it might sound to you, sit down and plan out goals with their lives and then have people to hold them accountable to them. You know, if you say, I want to save $6,000 this year, amazing, perfect. Let's go ahead and take that goal and figure out how to make it measurable and how you can hold yourself accountable to it. So if you want to save $6,000 this year, that would be about $500 per month, about $125 per week, right? So for some of you might say $6,000, that's nothing to me. Some of you guys say, might say $6,000, that's the world to me. Okay, we'll just take this example as, as you know, just simple proof. I want to I save $6,000 this year. That's $500 a month. I'm going to call up my best friend and I'm going to say, hey, you know, I want you to hold me accountable. I'm going to check in with you every single month, January 1st, February 1st, March, so on, so on, so on. I'm going to set a reoccurring uh, event inside of my schedule that's going to link up to your schedule that's going to say, I have to call you at the beginning of every single month and tell you how much money I've saved. Can I get your, can I get your, your you holding me accountable to that? Is that okay? Your friend's like, yeah, of course you can do that. Cool. Perfect. I'm going to send you out the calendar right now. Just make sure you accept it. It's going to be for every the first of every single month this year. And then what happens? Bring it pops up. You now have to call them because they're expecting your call because they literally have to hold you accountable because it's in their calendar as well. You call them up and you say, Hey, John, I, uh, I saved $400 this month. John's going to go. If John's a good accountability partner, John's going to go, well, isn't that less than you told me you wanted to save per month? Yes, it is. Okay. So what are you going to do about it? Well, if I was supposed to get 500 and save $500 this month and I only saved 400, that means that this next month I need to save 600. So my goal for this month to hold myself accountable and to stay on track is I need to hit 600. Okay, great. You go and let's say you, you do 600. Boom. You're back on track. Perfect. That's what you want is someone that you know that you have to report back to in a quantity that you can go and say, listen, this is the number. This is what I need you to hold you accountable, hold me accountable to. It's so simple, but it's so overlooked by most people. Most people usually don't even think about it. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and hit that like button down below. It helps with the YouTube algorithm so that more people can see this message because it helps us get it out organically. So hit that like button and I appreciate you. Same goes for health, for your weight loss. Let's say you're like, okay, John, I want to lose 25 pounds this year. It's January 1st. I want to lose 25 pounds this year. That's about two pounds per month. I'm going to put something in your schedule, January, February, March, first for all of those. And I have to call you back and tell you exactly what I weigh. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to call you. I weigh, you know, two, let's make the math easy, 225 pounds. I want to get to 200. That's two pounds per month. I have to be at 223 by the next time I call you. You call John up, you have to tell him what you weigh. You want to make it even better? Do exactly what I was saying. Get a Bluetooth uh, scale, force yourself to jump on it every single day. And if you really want to have John hold you accountable, send him a screenshot of what you weigh every single week and make sure that you check in. You say, John, I have to check. I have to weigh myself every single day. I want you to hold me accountable to that every single day. And I'm going to send you the screenshot every single week. Boom. You send him the screenshot every single week. He looks at it and he's like, Hey, you only, you only weighed yourself five times last week. What happened? Oh yeah. And you make excuses. Excuses are like buttholes. Everybody's got them and they all stink. Yeah. John hopefully isn't going to take your excuses. He's going to go, Hey Rob, I don't care about what happened last week. You missed it twice. That wasn't your goal. You need to get it to me seven times, you know, check in seven times over this next week. How does that sound? Good. Can we agree to that? Boom. 
What's good about this is that if he holds you hardcore accountable to what your goals are, he probably also has goals that he wants you to hold him accountable to. So you create this accountability partnership where you guys are both trying to help each other hit your goals. So then if you come in and at the end of the month, you only lost one pound, maybe you gained a pound. Oh my gosh, he better be on you to fix that. That's for sure. And so that's how you create this accountability relationship. Do you have someone in your life that you can check in with every single week or check in with every single month? If not, you need to change your, your, your sphere of influence. You gotta have at least one person that's in your corner, that loves you unconditionally, that wants the best for you and has no ulterior motive to wanna help you. They just want to see you thrive. If you don't have enough of those people in your life, go out and get more of them. You need them. Even if it's just one, you need to have one of those people that's in your life. You know, I, I, uh, a couple years ago, my girlfriend and I started sitting down with our New Year's resolutions and planning them out together and saying, hey, this is my goal for this year. I want you to hold me accountable to it. I give you full permission to call me out on my bullshit and tell me if I'm messing up. Can you do that for me? Yes. And I need you to tell me this. If I call you out in your BS and you give me full permission to call you out in your BS, can you make sure that no emotions are involved? We don't get mad at each other. This doesn't turn into a fight. I'm going to come to you and say, hey, listen, I'm going to come to you with love and say, listen, this is what your goal was. You're short on your goal. We need to change this. What's your plan to change? And this is how you improve exponentially. You know, without weekly or monthly measurement, um, you can't make adjustments to your goals. So if you know, for instance, like I said, you want to, you want to have $500 that you save every single week. If you don't have that number, then you're not, I'm just going to be honest with you. You're not going to save $6,000 over the course of the year, most likely. But if you know, okay, I'm only at 400 and then you look at it and you say, I need to make some adjustments. What are the adjustments I need to make? Okay. I need to stop eating out as much. I probably spent an extra hundred bucks just eating out. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have coffee in the mornings from Starbucks. Maybe I should make coffee because it cost me 25 cents versus five bucks. And you start making small incremental adjustments. Same thing with weight. Same thing with working out. Okay. I only worked out three times last week. I didn't hit my goal. Maybe I need to hit up workout four times this week. Okay. Let me look at what I ate every single day last week. If I look back, oh my gosh, I probably shouldn't have that burgers and fries when I was out. You know, I also ate that at 11 o'clock, which is the worst time to eat burgers and fries. And you can make small incremental adjustments when you start to track everything that's going on. Because rarely do we set a goal, make a plan to hit that goal, and then just hit it our first try. There's the little adjustments that need to be had over the course of a month or a course of a year. And when you track all of these things, it makes it really easy to look back and go, ah, there's my mistake. I can point out my mistake right there. That day, that week, that action, that habit, and you can make small incremental adjustments just as if I'm in, a, I'm in Austin, if I want to go to Houston, there might be a car accident at some point in time. My GPS is going to take me there, but if there's a car accident, I'm going to have Waze. Waze is going to take me around that accident, hopefully, and get me there. Detours in your life are necessary on your road to hitting your goals. But if you're not tracking it, number one, if you don't know what the goal is, you know, actually know what the goal is and the quantity, you can't quantify it. It's going to be really hard to hit the goal. And if you don't track it, then you can't make adjustments. But when you know the goal exactly, you're very clear on it. You track everything that you do. It's super simple to look back at how the last week went, how the last month went and go, this, these are little tweaks that I need to make because we have to make detours. Things come up. That's just the way that it goes. You know, we're going to fall short some weeks. We're not going to be perfect all the time. That's part of being a human. But here's the thing. When you fall short, you can't get emotional about it. You can't get pissed off at yourself. You can't judge yourself. You've got to look at it as if it was a business and you go, okay, the business is not doing well in here, here, and here. What are the things that we need to improve? You look at your life and you say, I'm going to look at my life like a business. I'm not going to put any emotion into it. I'm going to say, here are the things that I need to improving on. What adjustments do I need to make here, here, and here to make those little tiny adjustments. So as you're listening to this, I want you to think about this in your life and say, how can I use Pearson's law knowing everything that I just said to put it into my life, to improve my life and to improve it exponentially. And then who is the person that I'm going to bring on and say, Hey, you're my ride or die. We're going to do this together. We're going to do this before the end of the year. We're going to do this over the course of the whole next year. We're going to hold each other accountable. Even if you've never talked about goals before, who's that person in your life? If you don't know who they are, identify them. If you don't have someone, find someone. These are the types of people that you need in your life. If you look around and you go, none of these people would ever hold me accountable to my goals. And they'd probably make fun of me if I shared my goals with them. Mm, maybe they're not.
not the best person for your life. And I'm just saying it, just maybe you should spend less time with them. Spend time with people who are supporting you. What I want you to do is think this, you know, when you're thinking about these people to hold you accountable, if you look at them, are they someone, like at the place that they're in in their life, do you want to be in their position at some time in the future? Ask yourself that, whether they're a year ahead, five years ahead, 10 years ahead, do you wanna be in their place in the future? Or if you look at them in where they want to go, in where they're, not where they say they want to go, but where they're actually working at going, do you see them and go, yeah, this person's on the same track as me? Like, that's the thing that I can say. I've picked up mentors along the way that are further ahead, but by far, the one thing that's helped me out the most is since 2006, I've had a best friend. We talk almost every single day about our goals. He's my business partner. We've built multi-million dollar businesses together and we've grown together over the past 14 years. I know that if neither one of us had met each other, we would be way further behind in our lives than us meeting each other and being able to work together. 14 years, we've been working diligently, diligently, diligently. I mean, he's been on the podcast. His name is Dean. You guys have heard him before. We literally talked, we've talked four times today alone. Do you have someone like that, that you can, they're your ride or die, they're on your side, no matter what. If you screw up, you have a bad day, you can call them and there's absolutely no judgment. If you don't, it's okay, not a big deal. But now you know who you need to search for because you need someone to not only track this stuff, you're gonna track it, but you need to go back and actually tell them what it is. So identify that person, find that person and bring them into your life. Because once again, Pearson's law says when performance is measured, performance improves. When performance is measured and reported back, the rate of improvement accelerates. The rate of improvement accelerates. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. Today, we're going to be talking about the six steps to hit any goal you want. Coming up.